Hey, let's go. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This old world confusing me. Flowers as mean as you've ever seen. Ain't a bird who knows your truth. Then a little voice inside you whispers. Good afternoon, Griffins. I'm Miranda Dawson. And I'm Josie Hurt. Today is Friday, December 1st. It's that time of year again. The holiday season? No, silly. Short season. All the Theater 4 students are writing their very own short play. Auditions are this Monday, December 4th from 2.30 to 4.30. It's an open audition, so anyone is welcome. And callbacks are the very next day, and the cast list will be posted this Friday, December 8th. For more info, see any Theater 4 student or Dr. Kaufman in the Little Theater. Have you ever met an archery national champion? Well, now you can. Here's Andrew to introduce Wenatonka's very own two-time archery national champion, Nick Younger. It's not very common to meet a junior Olympian, but what you may not know is that we have one walking the halls of Tonka every single day. Uh, I've been doing archery since I was three and competitively since I was eight. I was 11 years old uh, in seventh grade and I had to go to a selection camp to get onto the team and once I got onto the team uh, they sent me a letter saying you are accepted and it was the happiest moment of my life pretty much. Nick is a member of the USA Junior Archery Team which allows him to travel across the country to participate in a variety of competitions. I participate in local shoots, national shoots, state shoots. Um, just really competing for the USA Archery team. I go to Las Vegas every year to compete. Uh, I'm in, a, in the Olympic Training Center in California, Florida, all around the world. Although he's won multiple state champion titles, two national champion titles, and even a world champion title, winning isn't his favorite part about competing. My favorite part is probably going to go see all my friends from around the country. Uh, and just the people there are super nice and always helping you out if you need any help. This has been Andrew Hedrick with WGTV. Wow, now I know a famous person. Do you ever go home after a long day at school, look in your pantry and see lots of food, but none of it looks appetizing? That's me every day. Well, with all that food that never gets eaten, you can donate it to the DECA Can Food Drive. The food drive starts next week. The goal is to collect more than 1,000 cans and boxed goods. All food is disputed back to Winnetonka's families. Net neutrality has been a big topic recently, so we sent Luke Mercer to get some more information on the situation. If you've been surfing the web at all recently, you've probably heard about the battle for net neutrality. Net neutrality is the reason everyone can surf the web freely without being charged, and right now it's in danger. The Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, is planning to get rid of net neutrality on December 14th. This would give internet providers the chance to charge people for visiting certain websites, essentially getting rid of the freedom to go anywhere on the web. This will also allow these internet providers to bully websites into paying millions just to get a faster connection. Without net neutrality, your internet surfing will be almost entirely controlled by your internet provider. If you want to help, you can email, call, or even tweet at a member of Congress to get them to understand why they need to help. You can learn more about net neutrality and learn how you should help in the fight for it on battleforthenet.com. Remember, your voice does matter. We can help ensure a free internet with no control or charges. Don't forget, you can go to battleforthenet.com to learn more about the fight for net neutrality, or you can contact your local representatives or your state senators. Winnetonka teachers are champions, but also, did you know that they're losers? Find out what we mean when we send Isaac out. Um, it was actually Dr. Johnson's idea to get the Big Susan competition started, um, and since I am the wellness champion at Winnetonka, um, I kind of typed up some rules and sent an email out to everyone and got started. Um, first place right now is Miss Westcott. She's lost the most body weight percentage. Um, second is Miss McGiffin. 
And then third is Miss McMinn. Um, I'm actually not participating in it just because I'm running it. I just wanted to stay neutral and stay kind of out of it, make sure things ran smoothly. Um, I think Thanksgiving break didn't really help. I mean, there's a lot of tempting foods you can eat. Um, and also treats in like the teacher's lounge. Those are really tempting the teachers, and sometimes you have to decide if it's worth the calories or not. Um, after the challenge is over is Christmas break, and hopefully we're going to make another challenge um, when teachers return back from Christmas break, and that way we can start the new year off right and try to be healthier. Good luck to all of our teachers. You guys got this. Well, that's all for today. I'm Miranda. And I'm Josie. See you next week. Let's go. 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 Let's go.